Cause I don't care what you think. I don't... You're going to have to send out the nerd. <laughs> Steve, it's on you, Steve. There's a problem on the Explorer. Steve's gonna walk in space. Yep. Hello! Oh. Woo, 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 woo. Cause such disaster. We back at it again. Life lessons of Stephen Lore. It's Stephen Lore time all the time. Let's just jump in this. Such disaster. Yo, huh, I. <laughs> <laughs> Brave young man. Three days like I've been around long enough to know what it is. I expected it. Steve Urkel has left Explore and is approaching the satellite. Grab the tether? I don't know what it is, but you didn't grab it. Right. Oh no. Without a tether, Steve will continue to float further and further away from Explorer. God, I can't watch this. And you can only imagine what Laura is feeling right now. You got she got her face covered like that's gonna actually stop something. But you can you can tell Laura is in emotional and soul agony. Because what is the thing? The the main thing that kept Steve here, you know, what I'm saying with her, you know, what, you know, him walking, walking, walking out that door is Laura told him, I can't imagine my life without you. What is Laura having to do as she covering her eyes like it's a bad dream? You know what I'm saying? She's having to um, start to think and imagine her life without him. This is where the, those moments, man, where you have like your life kind of flashes before your eyes you know what i'm saying those memories and those moments that you know that you that you experience it, it's like it comes around full circle sure, you can use mine for free oh all i ask is for laura's hand in marriage ah, <laughs> ah. gesture uh -huh. in your lifetime you'll go out on hundreds of dates but for me this could be my one and only how do you like that I peaked at 13. <laughs> <laughs> Man, Steve, and this, this is what we will could also continue to see. Steve knows how to break down Laura's heart. Get into her heart. Okay, Urkel. Mm -hmm. One kiss on the cheek. He got her. The patient with hands or extra movement. <laughs> but I just can't help loving you. Mm. It's like wanting to touch a star. You know you'll never reach it. But you've just got to keep trying. Steve said, I can't help loving you. He has proven that. But I love that Steve's is reality. Like, hey, this thing right here ain't going to be easy. You know what I'm saying? It ain't going to be easy. Steve. The girl crying. Steve wants to got be wonderful for me. Oh, Steve. That's why I wanted you to have this. No strings attached. Just the one to my heart. Mm. You forced Steve to cheat. Mm. And now when he needs you, you leave him high and dry. Mm. Eddie, Steve was a real friend to you, and it's about time you return the favor. God, I love you. Uh-huh. <laughs> See, why I love you so much, right? Well, this is what we're looking at. It. Why Steve loved Laura so much. Again, reasons like this. When you go and defend people in the way that you do, it elevates them. Standing up for me. Oh. I stood up for myself. Ah, so it was just a matter of principle. Exactly. <laughs> That's right. And had nothing to do whatsoever with the possibility that you care about me in any way. <laughs> That's right. And this is my point, what I'm saying. Steve recognizes what Laura did. I want to thank you for standing up for me. Not even the slightest little teensy weensy itty bitty bit. Exactly. Get her, Steve. Get her to admit it. Well, stop there. Right. I'll take it. Yeah. She basically just admitted it with the whale. Yeah, Steve. We know what it is. How about a hug? <laughs> <laughs> Steve, I'm going to ask my cat. We're just looking at all these, wondering are these some of the things that are running through Loa's mind right now? You what you did was, I mean, the way you. Thanks for saving my daddy. Mm, thanks for saving my daddy. And before I knew it, we were breaking up. Oh, no. <laughs> oh my poor, poor baby. Uh -huh. 
Be a friend, Steve. Yeah. <laughs> is just the beautiful steps um, that they had taken. Don't ever underestimate, underestimate friendship love, man. Don't ever underestimate it. I didn't really want it to end. No, why would you? I know, I know. Why would you? Yep. Be a friend, Steve. Be a friend, Steve. Best thing right there. Be a friend to her, Steve. I love this. I love this. I love it. Steve, when will you realize that I will never feel the way about you that you feel about me? Let's pay attention to this because this is so powerful. This is so powerful right here. Oh, yes, you will. Mm -hmm. Vision of that glorious moment that keeps my little heart beating. <laughs> Go for it. Go for it, Steve. You're lucky to have you as a friend. You know, you see the friendship love that is, is growing between Steve and Laura. And Steve, trust me, them kisses gonna get bigger, bruh, bruh. They're gonna get bigger. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. She handles it later. You know what I'm saying? Again, just going over some of these moments, wondering, does Laura have these moments, you know, in her mind, you know, with the understanding that she may never see Steve again? It's, ooh, don't go there ever again. Emily! Steve, how did you ever find her? Mm. Well, I went down to the dump. Hmm. And I walked out. And it only took me 16 hours. <laughs> he said he, he lucked out only took him 16 hours. Well, you a couple hours away from 24 hours. You know what I'm saying? A full day. Steve, you did that for me? Of course. I love you. Ooh. That's deep right there. That'd be the best time of my entire life. Uh, it's not a fantasy because you made it all come true. Ooh. Oh. <laughs> Laura does not have to gas Steve up. She just brings value to him. That's what she just did there. What's happening? What's happening now? I want my kiss now. Mm. Big moment. You do? <laughs> Big moment. You do? You do? Here. Yeah. Hey, smile on her face. Smile on her face as she approaches him to give him the luscious, y'all. Oh my gosh. Destiny. Look at that smile on her face. Such a, such a big moment. I told you, y'all. Laura's all in. <laughs> Just see, Laura does such a good job to where she always makes these moments about her and him. No, Laura don't see nobody else out there. It's just her and Steve right now. And she does such a great job with that. Such a great job with that. Making a moment, any moment, their moment. I told you, she's all in, literally. <laughs> you was all in, Laura. Oh. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Steve, man, Steve's, <laughs> Laura's going to wake up with some... Some bruises. She gonna need some. She gonna have some bruises, and she gonna need some bandages. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Just love me, Laura. <laughs> love me like I love you. Hey. She gave for it. She gave for it. Laura, you better go, girl. Laura. Laura. Mm -hmm. I love you. Look, just feel the how deep that is. Just feel how deep that is. Steve. Oh. I'm so happy. I love you too. Woo! Oh, oh gosh. Oh! I'm so happy right now. Coming from the heart. Lee Winslow. Lee Winslow. Will you marry me? What's that one looking like? Ah! Oh. Uh, I need you to train in Houston for six months. I'm not the man. Oh. <laughs> I'm not the man. You got the wrong one. Six months. Woo! Steve, this is a once in a lifetime opportunity. Right. 
But Laura, so is marrying you. Hmm. I want to get hitched before you change your mind. <laughs> Steve, that's not going to happen. Hmm. Look, we'll just postpone the wedding until after you return from space. Oh. Remember what it was. is I can't imagine my life without you. It is dire indeed. Drifting off into space only a... Oh, believe this. Hmm. Oh, don't give up, Steve. Think. You're not acting like the Steve Urkel I've come to know. That Steve Urkel would get out of this jam by using the biggest muscle he has. His brain. Hi, Goodbye, Laura. I want you to promise me something. Anything. I want you to promise me that no matter what, no matter what, you'll find a way to come back to me. Oh my gosh, this almost brings me to tears right now. She said, I want you to promise me no matter what, you'll find a way to come back to me. Oh my gosh. I promise, Farley. He's thinking. He's thinking. He's using that brain. That Steve would use the biggest muscle he has, his brain, right? And then we go into Lord just right there where Lord says, come on, Steve, think. Like what you have to see is the belief. And if you if you believe that Laura's belief came all of the sudden, it didn't. Laura always had this belief in Steve. Her, you know, in the other scene that I showed, you saw her say, find a I want you to promise me that you will find a way to come back to me. That's what people really underestimate about Laura you know, is the belief that she has in Steve, that she actually believes that he can do and figure out situations that are impossible, figure out situations that are dire, figure out situations that frankly, nobody else can figure out anybody else in this situation. Their life is over. Anybody in this situation with Laura right now, they're already Thinking about funeral, you know, funeral arrangements and things like that. Laura's still saying, Steve, don't give up. Think, think, think. Oh, well, don't give up, Steve. Think. Again, Laura provides everything Steve needs. Everything. There is not a box unchecked. The Lord does not provide for this man. Using that brain, Laura always believed in. Come on, Steve. Come it with it. The plan has been formulated by Steve Urkel himself. Come on, Steve. That's it. This is what I love. Look at Laura like, oh, I knew it. I knew he could do it. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. He made it back. <laughs> he made it back. He made it. He made it. Oh my God, it's a miracle. I can't believe this. The nerd's okay. <laughs> yeah, boy. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay. Here's the thing that I want to point out about this moment now is you see Laura has full support now. It was one thing that was kind of lacking when her and Steve first started, right? They wanted, everybody wanted Laura with Stefan. You know, Eddie got all the jokety jokes, right? But what you see now is support. Can you imagine if and Laura had to deal with all this by herself? Nope, her dad's there. Her mom, you know, stand-in mom is there. I keep saying again and again when it comes to Steve and Laura, for some strange reason, reason, adversity brings them closer. It does not separate them. Steve is really, Steve gets to come home, not only to a woman he's going to make his wife, but Steve gets to come home to a legit family now. You heard the man. No more pictures. Greetings. <laughs> greetings, our greetings. Greetings, our greetings. Steve, everybody's talking about you. You're a hero. It's not quite how you eat no. cake. Oh, Look at Laura, no. still ready. Look at Laura, still ready. Hi, Steve. Woo. Coming in ready, boy. <laughs> oh gosh. Goodness gracious, huh? You get more beautiful every time I see you. You better talk to her like that. You better talk to her like that. But through the good and the bad, it does not separate Stephen Lord. Steve's big time now. For all y'all say, he settled for Lord, did he? Steve has his probably choice of women right now. Had his choice of women. He could have been with Myra. Y'all think he settled? No. What's beautiful about this moment, Steve chose Laura. And Laura chose Steve. If people recognize the deepness that Steve and Laura say to each other, but they say it so smooth. But think about that. 
You get more beautiful every time I see you. Think about how beautiful Laura already is. You know what I'm saying? Place of blushing because their relationship. Laura, you're the most beautiful girl in the whole world. As a machine with feelings. Mm. He fell hopelessly in love with you. So let's be honest. Right. The only thing he was really guilty of was having good taste. <laughs> Look at how Steve does this. We gotta, you just got to pay attention all the times that Steve has said these things to Laura throughout their whole life. But it's different now. It's hitting different now. That's sweet, Steve. There's no doubt about it. You're the most beautiful girl here at the prom. Thanks, Steve. Why? You look so beautiful. Mm. Thank you. Talk to her. I'd say you look as pretty as a picture, but I've never seen a picture quite that pretty. Ooh, talk to her. We saw some of those old things. Their relationship now is in a whole new place. This is maturation. This is grace, right? This is patience. It's just, it's such a beautiful thing. Beautiful every time I see you. Gosh, you get more beautiful. Look at Laura. How you going to take it, Welcome little... home, Case. On one condition. One. Well, Ooh. what's that? Oh. That you'll never go into outer space again. Yeah, you put us through. You put us Only through. Only when we kiss, Harley. <laughs> Only when we kiss. You put her through, Steve. Kiss them, girl. Kiss them, girl. It's one of the it's one of the most beautiful love stories ever told. One of the most beautiful love stories ever to grace your television because it was always in the making. Stephen Law was always in the making. And here's the thing that you you take away from this whole thing is that it is okay to wait on God. Like it is okay to wait on God. Sometimes we just have to like trust God's timing. You know, um, our, cause we see, we think our timing is perfect. And in actuality, God's timing is perfect, right? Whether that's what said, he don't come when I want him to, but he's always on time. Right. And that's the, this, the, one of the things you see about Stephen Lord is that the timing, the timing of a thing was of this was so perfect. It did not need to happen then, then, or then it needed to happen now. Right. And I just want to encourage people in that, man. I just love this scene here. This was probably one of the most. I mean, they have so many scenes, but I want to go back and look. Look at this eye contact that Laura gives Steve. We got to go back because I just don't know if a lot of people picked it up, but I picked it up. Let's check it out. One, well, what's that? That you'll never go into. You see this interaction? I, I put it in slow motion. Look at the eyes that Laura gives Steve right there. <laughs> Y'all see those, sed those seductive little sexy eyes that Laura was giving Steve? You know what I'm saying? What am I saying? I've been saying she's ready, right? And that is the whole point of this. You know, what I, what I said, it's okay to wait for the right thing. It's okay to wait for the right thing to be right. Laura may have made Steve wait, but he, he getting the best of everything, baby. You know what I'm saying? That's what you should want, too. Like, you should want the best, not what's left. Laura's giving Steve her little, the best. You know, uh, steamy, sexy eyes looking at him. But, and I don't know why people, you know, hold Laura, like, you know, guilty of actually waiting to give Steve the best, right? Because uh, this is what, but this is what we do in, in our culture and society. I told y'all, y'all would rather have Laura say yes to Steve, even though she may not be ready and drag his little heart around like everybody does these days. And, and we don't respect the journey. We don't respect the fact that Laura respected Steve enough to say, you know what? I'm going to say no to you right now because I don't even know if I'm good for you right now. Laura did not say yes to Steve till she realized she was good for him. And that is the point of this, uh, of Stephen Laura. When people always want to try to use these asinine arguments, look, Myra loved him first. That is a lie because Laura already, Stephen Laura already had a love for each other. It's called friendship love people. Just in case you didn't know about it, it's called friendship love. And it's one of the, it is one of the greatest loves you will ever experience. And you, and you're blessed if you can take that friendship love into your marriage. It's crazy when people sit up here and they say, you know, Myra showed Steve love from day one. Myra showed Steve lust from day one. Because if Myra showed Steve love from day one, he might still be with her. But he didn't. And that's, a, that's what I'm talking about. Like, this is all about timing. This is all about patience. This is all about actually waiting for the right person and giving that right person your everything, your all, and your best. And that Lord should be applauded for that because that's what she did. But y'all, some of y'all... With your little raggedy opinions, actually think Laura, you know, Laura did Steve wrong in some type of way because she made him wait because, you know, she wasn't ready for what he was asking for. 
You know what I'm saying? And a lot of us get into these situations where we think we're ready. Guys, if, if it was really just that easy, the divorce rate wouldn't be what it is. I'm just saying, okay? So you, you, and this is what I would ask you, and I would challenge you. Would you rather have a person that made you wait, but when they gave, when they gave themselves to you, they gave all of themselves to you? Or would you rather them come to you half-hearted and play with your heart? Like, until they figure it out and get it right. But now y'all jacked up. Laura did not do that. She loved Steve enough to protect him from her until she was right. So just, just such asinine things. You know what I'm saying? Myra loved him first and, and all, you know, and Myra loved him the most. And all, like that, that's, that is nonsense. It is absolute asinineness. Okay. Absolute asinineness. When Myra came into the thing, man, Steve and Laura were already set, already stone cold in a beautiful, beautiful friendship. And when, what are some of the other lies, you know, that people tell about Laura? Oh, Laura didn't get with Steve till he got some status. Lies, 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 lies. Lord, what happened is when you go and you get the white woman, she levels you up. OK, y'all need to understand the difference. OK, Steve got leveled up when he got with when he got with Laura. But Laura was already devoted, already ready to marry him and everything before that opportunity came. Now, again, I said, if you want to say that Laura got with the, and this is the beauty part. They will be right quick. This is the beauty part. If you want to say that Steve... Laura started to feel Steve as he started to mature and grow. You can say that. There's nothing wrong with that. There's nothing wrong for <laughs> there's nothing wrong with somebody being attracted to the better version of you, the best version of you. There's nothing wrong with that. And I think it's just so crazy that Laura's wrong for liking the, you know, the newer version of Steve, but Myra is not wrong for rejecting it. Yeah, it, 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 all these just asinine lies, you know, about Laura, that she was about material. She cared more about her popularity. All these things are lies. OK, they're all complete lies. Here's what here's what I'm saying. What got Laura on the Steve train, if you will, on the Urkel train, if you will, is Steve just maturing. Right. Steve wanted to go get Johnny Gill tickets and he wanted to woo her with flowers and candies and all that. And Laura don't need all that. But all the, the best thing that Steve did was mature. Like that was the, that, and that's when the puzzle, the puzzle pieces started moving a little bit. And that is the beauty of the love story of Stephen Laura is that it wasn't because he came up. It wasn't because of money. It wasn't because of anything like that. It's like they grew in love. I remember I always say that Stephen Laura didn't fall in love. Stephen Laura grew in love even more and more and more. You know what I'm saying? And you know, they, and, and. They just reached a, and this is what's so dope about it too. Again, what people don't like. You see Stephen and Laura, they share some beautiful, beautiful, passionate kisses. But what is so amazing that their love is not built on anything that they've done physically yet. Because they ain't been there yet. They ain't, you know what I'm saying? They ain't been on that red special yet. You know what I'm saying? But with husband and wife, I bet ain't been moving at all. You know? And so this is what I'm talking about. Look at the bond and the connection that Stephen and Laura have so much that they haven't even got there yet. They haven't even got to that part yet, you know? And so I just think that, you know, we need to stop. We, the, the, I know people are going to continue because lies is what sells. I get it. You know, uh, trying to tear down great people. I get it. You know, you guys hating on Laura is really just an indication of how impactful Laura really was because nobody tears down anything that ain't worth anything. You tear down what's great, right? So that's why y'all go at Stephen Laura. I get it. But it's really such a beautiful love story and, you know, and, and, and with truth and true love. And y'all the ones, you know what I'm saying? To be given the little raggedy lies, but it, it isn't that Myra was never good for Steve because for the simple fact, Steve never wanted her also for the simple fact that Myra did not know how to love him. She knew how to gas him up, but Steve did not need to be gassed up. That's why Laura was, was his heart because Laura never gassed Steve up. Laura always told Steve the truth, you know, that Myra and Steve were perfect for each other because they liked the poker. Well, well, you know what ended up happening? Laura started liking the poker, baby. You know what I'm saying? Laura started to like poker. Laura always opened up her eyes to these things. And that's why I say that Steve and Laura are always meant to be because they bring something different to the table that makes them have to expand their mind, their perspective. It challenges both of them. You know what I'm saying? And, it, and, and what you see is two people that got better. There's two people that got greater, you know, despite, and that's why I think it's so beautiful too, is despite the challenges, despite the good and the bad, because for some reason, Stephen Lord get better from it. Even the good, right? People sit up here, look, 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 let's go here. People sit up here and say, oh, Steve, uh, uh, you know, um, Steve settled for Laura. Okay. First again, stop it. Okay. Stop it. He did not settle for Laura when he could have stayed with Myra. Number one, he didn't want Myra. Okay. Number two, Steve got status. When Steve went home to Laura, he had status. There is a chance that he probably walked past a couple cutie pies on the way home. He don't want them. He wanted her, right? You can't say somebody settled for something that they actually wanted. You can't say that somebody actually settled for something that they actually desired. What settling is, is when you don't really want it like that, you know what I'm saying? But you'll take it. And, and does that sound familiar? Yes, because that's what he did with Myra. 
He settled with Myra because Myra was not the one. Myra was not the fit. Myra looked the part, but she could never play the part. Okay. And Laura maybe don't look the part, but she played a part. You know what I'm saying? And so that some of these lies and all these different things of, and that's why I said, y'all showing your real true colors. You're really showing your, 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 you're showing yourself when you go and try to pull down Laura, you know, and, and like Myra was innocent. Like Myra was, you know, Myra was, Myra was just, Myra just was not a good person. She was manipulative. She was controlling. She was disrespectful. Myra is not the type of girl that you bring home to your parents. Mama's going to pick it up right away. She's going to pick it up right away. So I said all that to say what, guys? It is okay to wait. It is okay to, to trust God. It is, it should be okay for somebody. I'm not saying you got to wait around for him because like I said, Steve, what is the other big lie? Let's, let's go ahead and deal with that one. Uh, you know, Lord made again, what is it? Lord made Steve wait. And again, I'm going to say Lord made Steve wait to give the best of herself. Every part, you know, the beauty part about it is Laura literally is going to give the best of herself to Steve. And that's, that's in every area, mind, body, and soul. Steve gets to go some places with Laura that ain't nobody else been. And you're going to sit up here and try to convince me that he ain't, that, you know what I'm saying? That that's wrong because she waited the best of her now. You know what I'm saying? And, and, and it's that old saying of right time, wrong person. But see, that's the beauty of Steve and Laura. It's right time and right person. And that really is the, the, the message about it is that timing is everything, you know, and to trust God's timing or something that uh, Mr. Joel Embiid said himself was trust the process, right? You, you're looking at it, a, a, a process. This was something that was processing, ging, 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 right? It was always moving. Steve doubted it. Laura didn't think it would ever happen, right? But he was always working and it was always moving. And let's end this real quick. What, remember what I'm saying? That things are always working for Steve and Laura. The adversity was working for him. People say, Laura made Steve wait. But you got to look in, in these moments with Steve when Steve was out in space and Laura did not know, not only if she was ever going to see him again, she didn't know if he was going to live. So the agony that Laura had to go through in that time was way greater than any agony that, that Steve felt when, when he wanted to be with Laura and had to see it with other guys, what Laura had to deal with was far, far greater, you know? And so we got to stop that whole thing too. You know, Laura made him wait and, and she made him go through. Laura went through with Steve. She had to wait there. She, things were completely out of her, out of control, out of her control. And she had to sit there in agony and she couldn't do anything. And with, and not only that, but even this whole thing, you know, with Steve being gone for six months and all that, Laura had to put her life on hold. So we got to stop this whole thing of Laura put Steve through. Well, you know what? <laughs> Steve put Laura through the ringer. Now, I know some people say, well, it's not the same thing. Yes, it is. Because that was never Laura's intention. That was never her intention. She was trying to figure things out. And along the way, there was bumps along the way. Here we go. Steve is trying to get a new career. He's trying to, you know what I'm saying, uh, uh, live out his dream. But in the process of that, it's causing Laura pain. You know what I'm saying? It's causing her agony. You know, that, that's, that talk just needs to end. Laura, you know, made Steve wait. Well, you know what? Steve made Laura wait. You know what I'm saying? And that's how God works everything for our good. And that's the thing that you can learn about it with Steve and Laura is that things may look dormant. It, you know, they say, uh, um, Laura's no was never actually a no. It was a not now. And, you know, bringing it back full circle, it was never really a no. It was a not now because it's like, like they say, if it's, something can be wrong for you because it's not the right time. People can understand that, that that's all it was with Stephen Lord. You know, it's just, it was just not the right time because the beauty of it is, is God wanted to give Steve the best, right? Steve actually is getting right now more than he asked for. Let's remember what the original thing. Yes, he wanted to get married and, and, and have a wife and, and all that. That's what he wanted Lord to be. He wanted Lord to be wifey. But what God did is I'm going to take, I'm going to take them through trials and tribulations. I'm going to go have them go high and have them go low. And I'm going to bond them and connect them in such a way that nobody or nothing will ever be, will ever be able to come between the two, the two of them because they, they chose each other in good times. They chose each other in bad times. There was adverse, there was adversity. You know, Steve didn't know if Laura's ever going to come, you know what I'm saying? If her heart was ever going to change, you know, and it did. And then you have on the other side where Laura has to stand in this place of agony because she could literally lose the only man she's ever loved because dude getting stuck in space. This is adversity that Stephen Laura had to go through. This is a part of, this is a part of their journey that God said, I'm going to take you through these trials. You're going to go through 
through the ups and the downs. You're going to have people mock you. You're going to have people laugh at you. You're going to have people not support you. It's going to look like it's done. It's going to look like it's dead. But I'm going to bring that bad boy back up when it's time because I'm going to give you something better. I'm going to give you something greater than you ever anticipated or asked for. And that's what Steve is getting. And that's what he got. Not just a woman that he's married to. There's a lot of people. I say this all the time. There's a lot of people that are married and, you know, they they do their married things. But there are some people that are flourishing in marriage. There's some people that are married to their best friend. People just respected that. You know, you you, you go with the Myron, Steve, because y'all think everything is easy. Y'all think love is easy. You know what I'm saying? Lust is easy. You know what I'm saying? Calling people up to fill your needs is easy. But to really find somebody that's going to love you, like, you know, Jada said. You, you can be married, but that doesn't necessarily mean that you're ready to be someone's partner in life. Yeah. Meaning their growth, yeah. their experiences, yeah. their changes. Yeah. You know, and that's where your friendship comes in. Because, you know, when you're married, sometimes the romance, you know, comes mm-hmm. and it goes. Mm-hmm. But I'm going to tell you what does what never leaves. That's that friend love. And that's that commitment to ride or die with somebody who every step of life. You know, uh, that friendship love and it's going to love you through the ups and the downs and the all arounds. That stuff takes time. Any real true relationship takes time time. And God said, you know what, Steve, I know you want her now, but I'm going to take time because I'm going to build you guys in such a way that you guys will be unbreakable later. And it's such a beautiful, like I said, one of the most beautiful love stories ever told. One of the most beautiful love stories. That's why I say Stephen Lower Tom all the time, baby, because it's one of the most beautiful love stories you will ever experience in your life. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, man, love God, love people. May God bless you. May God keep you.